I started One Bag Travels in 2018 and have tried and tested a ton of travel bags over the last five years. I often get asked which are my favorites and I wanted to share some of my favorite bags that I find myself recommending over and over again. Because I like these bags for different reasons or for different trip types, I have a wide range of styles to show you. Some bags are gonna be great for carry comfort, aesthetics and tech organization, while other bags like these are gonna be extremely lightweight and minimalist. I have a wide range of styles here as well. Some are clamshell, duffel bags, a lot of panel style openings, and a wide range of prices from under $100 to over $300. But first, I'll do a quick run through of which bags I'll be showing you in this video. Starting out with the Cabin Zero Military 28, Osprey Daylight Expandable 26 Plus 6. This is the Patagonia Black Hole Mini MLC. I have the Thule Ion 28, the ULA Dragonfly, the Peak Design Travel Backpack 30, the Bilroy Transit 28, Air Travel Backpack 3 Small in the X-Pack, Cotopaxi Alpa 28. And then finally, Tortuga V4 Travel Backpack, Osprey Porter Sojourn Update this year, and the Evergoods CTB 26. I've already done individual reviews on these packs, which I'll link to in the description below. So in this video, instead of going over all the minute details in this bags, instead I'll just give a broad overview and compare some of the major features. That being said, I chose all these packs because they're gonna be carry-on compatible with most airlines. They also tend to be on the smaller side, ranging from these smaller bags like the Daylight and the Military 28 up to the 33 liter expandable Peak Design Travel Backpack. I also wanna caveat by saying that even though I've been doing this for a long time, there's still a ton of travel backpacks, even brands that I haven't had a chance to look at yet. If you know of a bag that you think is better than the ones that I'm showing you today, I'd love to hear about it in the description below. And now with no further ado, I'll jump right into the comparisons with the first category that I'm calling stylish backpacks with good tech organization. This is the Bellroy Transit 28, Tortuga V4, and the Peak Designs Travel Backpack. These are for if you wanna pack that looks great with a sleek, simple exterior, while also having good organization. These are gonna work great for business or city travel, all while having really good laptop compartments. These bags are all roughly the same capacity. The Transit here, this is the 28, although my peanut test, it holds more like 30. Tortuga is a 30 liter bag. And the Peak Design here is a little bit smaller, but it has an expansion zipper to pop it up to 33. If you carry a laptop, these all offer good protection. I'm also gonna throw the Evergood CTB in here because it's not as sleek as these other bags, but it does have a great laptop compartment. With a side access compartment behind the straps that has good padding protection on all four sides. These other three bags all have a top access laptop compartment. Tortuga V4 here is the best by far. It's extremely thick padding. It's got two sleeves back here. Great protection for a tablet as well as a laptop. Bellroy here has a top access pocket with a good false bottom, decent padding, not as thick as those other two, with an extra pocket. Peak Design has a sleeve inside the main compartment, and the access is just gonna be the same as those other two if you just open it from the top without opening the zipper all the way. For exterior organization, the Tortuga is gonna be the best here. It has a huge front admin pocket, top slash pocket, as well as a large front panel pocket and two kind of smallish water bottle pockets. Bellroy has a little less organization, just these two top pockets, large front panel pocket, and then two side pockets. Well, the Peak Design relies more on interior organization, it really just has this one small top pocket here, as well as two rather large side pockets. However, this does have some straps that attach to it and a bunch of gear loops so you could attach additional gear on the outside. As far as carry system and comfort goes, Tortuga V4 is again by far and away the best in my collection, probably of any bag that I own. Very thick shoulder straps, great air ventilation, really thick back padding here, has a movable shoulder harness that you can adjust up and down, as well as removable padded hip belts. These next two are very similar as far as carry comfort and which one is gonna fit you better probably gonna depend a little bit more on body type. Straps on both these bags are on the thinner side with some modestly thick back padding. Peak Design probably has the advantage here with having these more swivelable shoulder straps and the ability to tuck them in behind the back padding. Now I'll compare the packing styles real quick. Bellroy here, it's a panel opening style straight from the top into this big main compartment. Advertised at 28, but this thing is actually larger. I was able to fit almost 30 liters in this pack, so definitely a large compartment. Disadvantage in this style is a lot of these pockets don't have their own volume, so when you start to put stuff into these side and top pockets, it's gonna eat up capacity from the main compartment. 
Peak Design has the same panel style opening, but it's gonna be the back instead of the front here. This fabric is really stiff, it has good structure, so it makes this a really easy to pack main compartment. The only downside I don't like about this style is it's a little bit awkward when you have your laptop in here and the backpack straps, it makes this lid section kind of heavy. Last bag here is the Tortuga. It's got a more traditional clamshell style, opens from the side like a suitcase. One side has the large area where you're gonna store most of your luggage and then a smaller zipper compartment on the lid side. The next category I wanna show you is minimalist travel backpacks. These include some of the lightest bags in my collection, including the ULA Dragonfly, the Osprey 26 plus six, and the Cabin Zero Military 28, all well under two pounds. And well, a little bit heavier, but I still think very minimalist is the Patagonia Mini MLC. In general, these packs focus more on being simple and lightweight, so you can lose some of the features that you get in heavier backpacks like robust carry systems and laptop protection like in a bag like the Tortuga V4. However, despite being lightweight, these packs still have some great capacity and still rather large like the Osprey 26.6. Looks small, but this thing has an expansion zipper, pops it out to over 30 liters. The Dragonfly main compartment is 25 liters, but it has some gigantic exterior stretchy pockets. You can pop this thing up to way more, probably closer to 35. Mini MLC has some great capacity without a lot of features that take up space. This thing holds up to 30 liters. Military 28, they claim to be 28, but just looking at this pack, you can see it's quite a bit smaller. In my peanut test, I was only able to get about 23 liters in here, although still a very decently sized pack. The external organization tends to be quite a bit simpler than those other bags I showed you. Just one front pocket here on the Military 28, as well as a side water bottle pocket. It's really more like an umbrella holder. Mini MLC just has one top pocket here. It does have some more organization in the laptop sleeve. These things that you can attach, kind of a towel or a jacket onto the front. And it actually does have a large side water bottle pocket that's quite useful. In the daylight here, not a lot of organizations. Front pocket, this front sleeve thing. And then two kind of medium sized, pretty decent water bottle gear holding pockets. And while these bags all have laptop compartments, their protection is gonna be way less robust than you're gonna find in much heavier packs. For example, the Military 28, it's really just this unpadded sleeve inside the main compartment. 26 plus six, similar story, just a sleeve inside the main compartment. And this has a little bit of padding on the front, some okay padding on the back, and a separate access zipper so you can get into it without opening the main compartment. The Dragonfly uses a separate compartment here on the back. It's actually halfway decent. It has padding on both sides and a false bottom, but the padding is rather thin. The Mini MLC, by far the best in this category, has a full panel opening. There's some more organization over here on this side. The laptop sleeve, laptop tablet, some okay padding here also with a decent false bottom. This is one of the trade-off things I was talking about. This bag has a much better laptop sleeve, but it also takes up a lot more room, has more zippers, adds more weight. ULA Dragonfly, much simpler pack, much lighter. This thing's almost a pound lighter, but it doesn't have nearly as good of laptop protection. The carry systems are all decent, but tend to be more on the minimalist side. Military 28 has the thickest backpack straps, decent back padding here, and it does have top load adjusters. These two bags are pretty similar in terms of padding width back padding, slightly different style though. The 26 plus six over here probably has the thinnest straps, although it has some pretty decent back air ventilation. The packing style on these bags are quite a bit different. Duffel styles tend to be a lot lighter just because they have less materials, which is the style they went with here on the Patagonia Mini MLC, just big panel opening, large main compartment. Very similar style over here on the Dragonfly front panel to a giant main compartment. The Military 28 has that same panel style opening, but you can see the zipper doesn't quite go down all the way, and the interior compartment here isn't quite as large. Osprey managed to make a sub two pound clamshell style backpack, which is very impressive because this style tends to have a lot more zippers and organization, which are gonna add to the weight. The style is very similar to the Tortuga bag I showed you earlier, large main compartment over here for most of your luggage with a smaller zipper pocket here on the lid. However, this is gonna be the side that has the expansion zipper, 
So when you pop that thing out, this side pocket here with the zipper gets rather large. The next category that I'll show you is what I call workhorse packs. These didn't fit into my other two categories because they don't quite have the minimalist aesthetic of that first bag, and these aren't the lightest bags in my collection. What I do think these bags have though is a good combination of features, comfortable carry systems, good laptop protection, easy to pack main compartments. That's gonna make these great all around travel backpacks. They're gonna work well in a variety of travel situations. Again, I have a good range of sizes here. The smallest is the Evergood CTB26. Midway is gonna be Alpa 28. And then the largest one is the Thule, which has an expansion zipper, pops this thing up to 32. Air Travel Pack 3 small is a 28 liter bag. Well, the updated Osprey Porter Sojourn is 30 liters. But remember, I have the smaller versions and each one of these five packs on the table here also comes in a larger size. Because these bags have a variety of styles, the exterior features are also gonna be quite different. Coming over here, the Kodo Paxi Alpa just has this one small top pocket here and no side water bottle pockets. Well, all the other bags have much better exterior organization. The Thule Ion has a decent front admin panel pocket here for their organization, and it has a smallish side water bottle pocket and a small top slash pocket. The Porter has a gigantic front pocket with a little zipper in here. You can put a ton of gear, probably fit a whole, whole jacket in there, large stretchy, stretchy side pocket and a large top slash pocket. The Air and the Evergoods both have great exterior organization. The Travel Pack here has a gigantic front admin panel, front slash pocket, a fuzzy lined top pocket here, side pocket as well as kind of a small slimmer water bottle pocket. The Evergoods has my favorite exterior organization of the bags here, large front pockets with their own volume, top slash pocket here, large, front slimmer admin panel, and then these two giant side water bottle pockets that also work great for holding gear. We also have a range of laptop types and levels of protection here. Air Travel Pack is by far the best, top opening, dedicated pocket, extremely thick padding, large false bottom, and an additional tablet sleeve. Next best is the Evergood CTB, dedicated side pocket opening. It's got good padding, it's got a sleeve system here that offers Good protection on all four sides. The next two, Cotopaxi Alpa and Sojourn, kind of the same side access style here. They're decent in terms of padding, but they don't have the greatest side protection. Same thing over here on the Alpa. It's got a little sleeve in here for a small laptop or a tablet. Got a really large pocket, not really a whole lot in the way of a false bottom. Kind of has some padding down here. So decent padding, but not great side protection. The Thule Ion is next, actually has a sleeve inside the main compartment, very similar to the Peak Design Travel Backpack. And you can treat this thing like a top access sleeve here if you just don't open the zipper all the way. This thing actually has decent padding, some decent back protection here. However, it doesn't really have anything in the way of a false bottom. These workhorse packs all have a variety of carry systems. However, they're all comfortable and they all carry the weight well, which is one of the things which I think makes these great all around travel backpacks. The backpack carry on these three bags, Cotopaxi Alpa, Sojourn, and the Ion are all very similar. They're decently comfortable, but really nothing special. They have good shoulder straps. They all have decent back padding. The back padding on the Porter is a little bit stiffer here, but this bag has the advantage of having top load lifters and stowable hip belts. The carry system on the CTB26 doesn't look that much different, but they did a great job here with the design and the materials. These shoulder straps swivel well here to fit your shoulders. They used a really comfortable closed cell foam in here. Holds my weight really well. And this back padding material, it's smooth, breathable, and also very durable. The most robust carry system of these bags is the Air Travel Pack. Similarly, like the Tortuga V4, this is one of the reasons why these are some of the heaviest travel packs that I have here. They're both very comfortable packs, but this big thick padding is gonna add a ton of weight. But if you want a really comfortable pack, that's a trade off you have to make. Over here, we have very thick padded shoulder straps, thick back padding, top load adjusters, as well as loops here on the bottom for optional hip belts if you wanna add them on. The packing styles in these five bags ranges from panel loaders like the CTB, Ion, and the Travel Backpack. The Kodo Paxi Alpa is a clamshell. Well, the Porter is a duffel. 
I love the packing style on the CTB. It has a very large, easy to pack main compartment and pockets here on the lid, inside and outside, that aren't gonna compete with the volume. The Air Travel Pack has an almost identical interior packing style, large main compartment with a panel lid with some interior pockets in here. However, just not quite as much room for gear in these pockets than you did on the Evergoods bag. The Thule Ion is a similar style to the Peak Design Travel Backpack where you're gonna open the lid is gonna be the panel instead of being on the front. Also makes it so this thing can be a little bit heavy if you have the laptop. Shoulder straps over here. There is a divider. If you wanna keep it in here, you're gonna separate this. It's basically gonna be a separate tech compartment or you could unzip it, roll this up. This thing tucks down here and then you have access here to the main compartment. It's gonna be plopped in here with the tech compartment. And as an added bonus here, you have this separate top zipper over here on the ION that's gonna give you access into the main compartment without having to completely open the zipper and fold it all the way open. Kodopax the Elpa side opening clamshell style. This thing is gonna have a lot of organizational pockets in here. Basically, each side has its own kind of large zippered mesh pocket, letting you keep all your gear separate without needing to use packing cubes. Finally, we have the Osprey Porter. I've always liked the packing style in this bag, but it was never one of my favorites until this year when they upgraded the backpack carry system with the Osprey Sojourn update. This bag is super easy to pack because it just has a large duffel style compartment. There's a couple of zippered pockets here if you want a little bit more organization. But the great thing about this bag is that you don't really need to be super picky, careful about how you pack it because you can always just clamp down these great top compression straps really helps squish your gear down. So that's just a broad overview of my 12 favorite travel backpacks that I've tested over the last five years, broken up into three broad categories. There's a lot of overlap here in the features and functions on these bags, but there's definitely some that do things better than others. There's always gonna be a trade-off between features, weight, and price. For example, if you want a really comfortable pack with a ton of back padding, well-protected laptop compartment, we have the Air Travel Pack, the Tortuga V4, or the Evergoods CTB26, these bags are gonna to tend to be on the heavier side and are generally gonna cost more. Well, on the other end of the spectrum, we have bags like the ULA Dragonfly, Osprey 266, Cabin Zero Military 28. These are all great bags. However, you're gonna trade reduced weight and price for a bag that has a lot less padding, both on the backpack carry and for your laptop and tech gear. Different features will be more important for certain people or for certain types of trips. Generally speaking though, if you want a good looking pack with a sleek aesthetic exterior, good tech protection, we have the Peak Design Travel Backpack, the Tortuga V4, and the Bellroy Transit are all gonna be great choices. However, if you're mainly concerned with weight and want a very minimalist pack that also has features that work well with travel, but you're okay with giving up some features that you're gonna find in a much heavier pack, I'd recommend looking at these bags. We have the Osprey 266, Cabin Zero Military 28. ULA Dragonfly, and Patagonia Mini MLC. However, if you don't have a particular style in mind, you just want a bag that's gonna be a good all-around travel backpack, then I would pick one of the ones for my workhorse category. These are almost always gonna be a good choice on pretty much every trip. Here I have the Cotopaxi Elpa 28. I have the Thule Ion 28. I have the Osprey Porter Sojourn. We have the Air Travel Pack 3 small X-Pack version and the Evergoods Civil Travel Bag CTB26. That's all I have for my comparison on my favorite 12 backpacks of all time. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or you wanna see further comparisons between these packs. And again, thanks for watching.